in Europe, I started with uh, Coops. With Coops? Finland. Yeah. Then oh. moved to Denmark, Oldborg. Oh, okay. Uh, that means your Wikipedia, your Wikipedia said that you you played 14 matches for Amsterdam and you scored eight goals for them. No. Wikipedia, people just put what they want. I know, right? just... And you know, this that's another reason why we like to talk to players mm. and at least get the right information yeah. from you know you see you were talking about the club i don't even know yeah, how come know i don't club. know the club <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's interesting okay so you started from yeah. in, in finland um so how was that transition for you you know finally making it to to europe new weather you know yeah. new language new experience everything. yeah i arrived in finland in the summer yeah. i was supposed to go there for tires like one week or so. So getting there after just one day of training, the next day they said I should sign contract. We we have game against Zenit and Petersburg under 23. So I think they were scared if I do well, those bigger Russian team might hijack me in that friendly game. So immediately I trained just once the next day. They said I should sign. If you go to YouTube, if you type my name, Coops, you see Dixon God gift to Coops. See, date, I'm the only player they gave car in that team. I think in, in Finland, I say, oh, they don't do it, like giving you a car and stuff. It was a big privilege. I did so well there. But I always have problem with winter. And then it's really cold. I'm always injured. Many moves I was supposed to make, I had injury that like set me back a lot before I moved to Denmark. Also. Well, and I was going to say I was thinking that back then, you know, the manager of the club said that you were the best player that he had ever seen in the in the yes. league in Finland. Mm. You know. As a, as a mm. young player, you know, starting up and people are giving you this kind of compliment. How do you stay grounded? You know, how do you keep yourself um, focused? It, you, you know why is I love football. It's my life. It's passion for me. It's it's after God, family, football is my religion. So whatever you say, whatever you do, it doesn't really affect me. I just want to play. I just want to do better. I hate losing. I don't want yeah. to lose. So whatever I have to do to win, I'm doing it. If I like, I will set my life on the go. I will put my body, I will, I will do everything. I think maybe that's why I had a series of injuries. I go, everything, I don't pretend. Maybe it's from my coach, my childhood coach, Coach Paul Lunacre. Ajegula Sapalo, my academy. Back then, if you lose, it will like flog you, like whip your ass. You play well or you don't play well. No. Once you are in losing team, you will get destroyed. The only way you guys can escape, maybe the game was very good and one team just have to win. It will now reduce it. Instead of the normal seeds, it will flog you three. So since then, I have that mentality of winning. Every game, every time training, I want to win. So whatever the praises, whatever it is, I was just too focused to win, to do more and to do better than I was yesterday. And you know, and unfortunately, I mean, back then, you know, the the medical facilities and everything were not as you know advanced no, yeah. as, yeah. as mm. today. So obviously, yes. if you get injured, is you take mm. longer to come back, you know, yeah, like that. stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. And now you can even prevent injury. Like exactly. Exercises you do, so you don't get once you take your body now, you yeah, know, you, can, you can prevent um, mm -hmm. unfortunate things from happening. But still, you know, you you played mm. in Finland, you moved to to Alborg, you know, in Denmark. Yeah. And so how how was it for you, you know, transitioning to another country? Your first transfer in Europe. Mm. Okay, it was nice. I was I was very happy. They welcomed me so nice with Waka Waka. It's time for Africa. So the expectation was already there. 
So, my first league game, it was against uh, AAB. Udense, Peter Utaka was playing for that team. No, yes, Peter Utaka was playing for that team. So, that game, he scored us first. And I replied not long ago with from outside the team, boom, after I beat one defender, boom, big shot, goal. So the goal was even among goal of the month for that month. But in that same game, I was injured during second half. What happened to me there, the transition from Finland to Denmark, the training level was like this in Finland, but in Denmark, was here. I didn't have much time to like normally you should go like this in life. Yeah. In football. Let me say football. The one I know very well. So I was like this, then like this with the training and stuff because season was already on. I didn't have much time okay. to prepare with them and all that. So it cost my injury. Oh, it was a big a right step for me so the problem was really i went like all hard i'm one person in training as long as people are keep going i don't stop even if i'm too tired or whatsoever i cannot stop i don't stop until i get to the end with everyone. So because the boys were already on another level, so big muscle, I started having injury. And this injury lasted for so long. I came back thinking it was good. I went back again to injury. So that really spoiled my, ruined my time in Holborn. So the okay. highlight was just that good. Oh, wow. Okay, and um, let's now talk about um, moving to, to Asia, you know. Mm. You moved to Vietnam before you eventually went to, to Malaysia, yeah. you know. Mm. And in Malaysia was where you really, you know, well, at least personally, that's where I really knew you. You know, that's where mm. you wondered about, you know, all your exploits, scoring goals, mm. everything. So how mm. was it like, you know, this time now, a different. This is your third continent that you are, you are mm. playing on. You know mm. how was it moving to Asia? Okay, I had that offer many years ago, going to Vietnam, Asia, and stuff. I said no. What am I doing there? It's not football place. So with those injury coming, I'm like, why not go and cash out instead of you to keep forcing it and stuff? I said, okay, let's go and try. It was Vietnam first. I went to Vietnam. I played just half season and I was the top goal scorer of my team. Second or third overall. And it was just half season for me. So I did very well in Vietnam. The team wanted to keep me. I said, no, I don't want to stay here. I don't like the, the, the place, the setting and everything. I'm like, I can't survive here because we all stay in the camp, the players camp, all of there. You have your house and I'm like, this is not for me. So someone saw me playing in Vietnam, then took me to Malaysia. I was training in their facility and they even find a second league team for me to be training with. So it was amazing. It's of course difficult to come back, but you already know you are in what you aim for. So I was doing it every day. It was good because I was happy I'm able to play again. So the pain, I don't think it's about the pain that much. So I was just happy to be able to play again.
Amazing, amazing. Yeah. And, um, yes, we, we joined Pahang, you know, in, yes. in Yeah. Yes. Was it, you know, they just, because of what you had done before, you know, they mm. had the confidence and the faith, you know, and they started to yeah. Yes, that's it. I think if I go to Pahang or Malaysia with one leg, I will still play. <laughs> Even as I am retired, if I say I want to play next season, to yeah, Malaysia, Malaysia, I will still play. So it's because of the legacy and what I've done. Because yeah. I think they, they, they have culture like Nigeria. They like people who respect their culture, who respect them, apart yeah. from just playing football. So it's nice and easy whenever I want to go back to do something there. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, currently yeah. we have a Nigerian player, um, Ifeda Yomosi, who is doing oh. who is doing really well, yeah. really well in yeah. Malaysia as well. You know, so mm -hmm. shout out to him. Man. Um, I think yeah. if I'm not mistaken, you won I think five trophies during your time in in Malaysia, four or five, the FA Cup, um, the mm -hmm. Malaysia Cup. I think you mm. won the FA Cup twice, you won the Malaysia Cup, you won the mm. charity shield, did you? I'm not she, sure. Yeah. You know, you know. So mm. what what is it like? Because um, at the end of the day, you know, with this football, yes, I mean football, the money is great and everything, but mm. as an athlete, mm. as a competitor, mm. you want to win. You know, that's yeah. the important thing. You want to win. Mm. So mm. what was it like, you know, to be able to win trophies, you know, and be able to at least call yourself a champion in, in Malaysia? Mm. I, I think it's the best feeling ever because after you work so hard all season and at the end of the day, you didn't win anything. Of course, it's it's quite painful, you know. And for them, the cup is more important than the league for them. It's the last game of the season. So they just want you to win it, no matter how. Just win it for them. Like in the games, you have 100 and something thousand. 100 and something thousand watching this game. It's, it's amazing. Even people still stay outside. Like they want to get into the stadium, no more ticket and stuff. This is the biggest crowd wow. I've seen in football. Even when I was in France, Angers, we don't have that. <laughs> so yes. it, it's amazing feeling. Like they sing from starting to end in 90 minutes nonstop. Wow. So this is, this is every player's dream, I think. Going to the final, winning the cup, winning trophies, mostly in front of that amazing club. I can, I can, I can only, I can only imagine. You know, I mean, the mm. love. The, I mean, I've never played professional football, but if you have, you know, hundred thousand people that are supporting mm. you, that are screaming your, that are screaming your name, I can only imagine. Man, I go run the whole mm. pitch ten times before I get tired. Yes, yeah, I tell you, it will be, be too much. It's amazing okay, feeling. Want, trust me. I want to ask you about um, also about your brother. You know, so something that first I think about it too. You know, even the blast shot. Mm. You know, it's something that your brother. Maybe because I'm young, you know, I've watched more mm. of him unfortunately, or than I've watched mm. of of you. Mm. And every time I, I, I always thought I'm like, until one came in, they score bad goal. You know, you know, they mm. just call, mm. you may know, just tap the ball in, you may know, just somebody pass, just every yeah. goal like this, now short, it's now. Mm. I don't know, is it just the anger from Adegule or that way? Why is it like that? <laughs> it's, it's the zeal to, to win, to succeed. Trust me. We, we have to succeed because there is so many people looking up to us. We're doing that for not just our family, but for uh, our people. So everybody, like, in support of us, the support is amazing. We get back home and stuff. Yes. So I think he's someone who is very, very ambitious, and he likes to do his own things different. So when whatever he puts his mind, maybe 90% already i can tell this is so sad why do you think you know might be the reason why you know he got one chance you know they called him up one time and you know mm. even though clearly he has still been doing very well 
but mm. he's been constantly overlooked. Mm. He, he, he got one chance, played not in his position, his favorite position. Yeah. He played as a striker, and I watched the game. Nobody was good. It was bad game, bad pitch from everyone. So that's not the problem. I think that was even a trap for him, so they can have excuse like for not calling him. I hear people say he's old and stuff. I laugh. I laugh every day. I think, you know, football in Nigeria is big corruption. Because the last time I remembered, I am sure they want to manage him and stuff. For long now, me, my brother, we don't use managers. Mm. If you bring the, if it's good, we sign, we share money, thank you. Because I myself, I suffered a lot in the hands of manager growing up. So they even, they, they, they done more harm than good. Mm. So he said, no, he don't want. This is what you will not hear from him. He will never speak about this or stuff. He even call him for interview, he will not. He is that kind of person. He wants to be in his lane and work and just be happy. He don't want to be involved in media or Tony said this or that, but they want to manage him, but he refused. So that's the main reason why he didn't go back to that national team. Mm -hmm. So football in Nigeria is big politics and it's killing the football. Oh, definitely. You know, and it's yeah. something that um, I always like to, you know, I always say the NFF, they don't, they don't like me, they don't like Igu Chaka because mm -hmm. I always come online and I talk about the mm -hmm. bad things that are happening, mm. you know, and it's something mm. I've, I've, I've said it before, you know, after working, you know, is I always say, I know that um, is there are so many good players, you know, I always mm. remind that you cannot pick mm. everybody, but you know, mm. sometimes you look at other players getting a chance here and there, mm. you're like, if you can call this person, I, I can't mm. you call this mm. other guy, you know, things yeah. like that. Sometimes they even call mm. players that maybe made one appearance in the entire season. And yeah. they, 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 this guy only played one match and he's playing for yeah. two by two. Mm -hmm. so he played mm -hmm. something games, score ten mm -hmm. goals, like mm -hmm. seven assists, so, you know. Yeah. He gets called up. So it's mm -hmm. it's unfortunate, but hopefully, you know, these mm -hmm. things can can change. We hope so. It's going to take it's going to take long for things like this to change. Musa is playing in in, in Turkey. Musa is team is you can't compare it with my brother's team yeah. he is not doing as much as my brother is doing they are playing almost same position wing also so why is musa there and antony is not there he is captain is leader no football is not like that we play people that are in form yeah yeah, yeah. when our captain is in form he will come back is nobody bet right if you are informed come and play give us result and go next game if you are not informed they drop you yeah. many teams i watch like england everywhere it's same once yeah, you are informed come and play you are our captain you are not informed how many games so why are you still coming if yeah. you want to give an excuse because of the league he plays and stuff Musa is playing like I don't know his team. I don't watch if he's playing or not. I don't know, but I'm sure my brother is doing twenty times more better. Mm 